This is a story about Billy, a shiny orange engine. When Billy arrived at my railway house, I asked Thomas to show him what to do. Billy thought that Thomas was bossy, but he soon realised that Thomas was just being helpful. One morning, Thomas the Tank Engine was at Brendan Docks. He was excited. Today, I am going to look after a new engine, Pete Thomas de Salty. A new engine arrived. He had, a sh he, he had an orange coat and was puffing with pride. I'm Billy, he whistled. Let's go. Wait, Billy, Pete Thomas. We can't go yet. We have to wait for the fat controller. He will tell us what to do. The fat controller soon came to meet Billy. Billy, he boomed, you have a very busy day. First, you must take empty chicken vans to the farm and bring the chickens back to the docks. Then, you are to deliver diesel fuel to the quarry. And lastly, you have to take coal to the depot. Yes, sir, bubbled Billy happily. Thomas, you must show Billy how to be a really useful engine, added the fat controller before he left. Billy, Thomas steamed, you must pull the chicken slowly and smoothly. I know that, sighed Billy. He pumped his, his, he pumped his pistons impatiently. Don't pump your pistons before you're ready to leave, whistled Thomas. It wastes coal and water. Now, now first, you must take on more coal and water for your busy day, he added. Thomas, huffed Billy, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Billy raced off without Thomas. He thinks you're a bossy boiler, me out, he laughed salty. Thomas didn't want to, didn't, didn't like being called bossy. He had promised a fat controller he would look after Billy. So Thomas chased after him. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the farm, but Billy wasn't pleased to see Thomas. Billy, you must take on coal and water, he said. Don't tell me what to do, Thomas, huffed Billy. You are a very bossy engine, and he steamed off to the quarry. Silly Billy, you've forgotten the chickens, Farmer McCall called out. Bother him, wished Thomas, and he chuffed quickly after the impatient engine. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the quarry, but Billy wasn't pleased to see him. You didn't pick up the chickens, puffed Thomas, and you still haven't taken on more coal and water. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas, of Billy. You are a very bossy engine, and Billy steamed off. Mavis gasped. He's forgotten our diesel. Thomas was worried, and he raced after Billy. Thomas was pleased, pleased to find Billy at the depot, but Billy wasn't pleased to see him. Billy had backed up two heavy trucks of diesel oil. They need this diesel oil at the quarry now, peeped Thomas, and you still haven't taken on coal and water. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas, Huff Billy. You are a very, very bossy engine. And Billy steamed off without the diesel oil. Thomas was very worried. He chased after Billy. Thomas was pleased to find Billy at the coaling plant. Billy was backing his trucks under the hopper, but he didn't see Percy there, and he biffed right under the hopper. Percy was covered in coal from funnel to footplate. Watch out, silly Billy! Percy peeped. Oh no, Puff Thomas, you must be careful when you roll under the hopper, and you must take on coal and water now! Thomas, Huff Billy, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Thomas was very unhappy. He didn't want to be called boss anymore. Do whatever you want, Billy, he wished. This made Billy very happy, and he raced off. 
But suddenly Billy came to a stop. He had run out of coal and water. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas when he saw what had happened. I haven't taught Billy to be really useful at all. Thomas shunted Billy to the water tower and Billy's firebox was filled with coal while he took on water. I know you think I'm a bossy boiler, puffed Thomas, but I've done all these jobs before. I can help you. Then no one will call you a silly Billy. Together, Billy and Thomas collected Farmer McCall's chickens and took them to the docks. Then they delivered the diesel oil to Mavis and Diesel at the quarry. And lastly, they delivered coal to the, to the depot. Now Thomas and Billy were very tired. Goodbye, Billy, Thomas chuffed. The Fat Control will be very pleased that you finished all your jobs. Thomas started to puff away. Thomas, bubbled Billy, you're not a bossy boiler. You're a really useful engine and I really enjoyed working with you. Thomas felt very happy. Thomas, Billy wasn't a silly Billy anymore. And Thomas had made a really good friend. The end.